Alright, I'm trying to think of a good character that has a very different weight than Game & Watch, because that's who I practiced on last time. Maybe practice on Snake doing Grenade? Good idea. I like that. Maybe it doesn't work on Snake that well because of the frame 1 grenade. Like, that's... Most characters don't have frame 1 options, so maybe it's not really going to work reliably on Snake. I'm just trying to think of... That's really close. Maybe it's something that'll work on higher percents on Snake. So I think I'm going to practice on up and NDI and up DI. That way, if I play against the snake and I read they're going to DI that way, I can just practice doing this for when they do that. And then when they do other things instead, you just combo them more traditionally. It's so like, we have that, which is pretty good. While that won't kill with good DI, it puts them in a way worse position. So for the most part, if you think they're going to DI away, you do that. And then if you think they're going to DI in, you do this. Two pretty good options. Like, if they mix up their DI there, they're not going to somehow avoid the, sec the second up air. The only thing they can really do is mix up their DI and try and screw up uh, the knee attempt. Which is a very valid thing. And if you read the, uh... If you read Grenade, you can also just wait for it and not be kill. So that's cool. But yeah, like, that's... Like, that gives you an idea of some stuff that we can do with it. Whereas, if we read that they're gonna DI away instead so that, that doesn't, that's not possible, instead we just do this. And then they're super far off stage in their snake. LOL. This is, bank this is banking on them DIing up or up and in. Which, if they're in this situation and they DI up and in, and you try and go for like a traditional IDJ combo, it's not possible. So they might DI specifically that way to try and keep you from getting an IDJ combo. Instead, uh, you just do this. And now they're super far off stage, and they're Snake. So it sucks. Like, you can very realistically kill Snake in that position. So you have an option either way, and both of them are really strong. All you have to do is just read whether they're going to DI in or out on the first near one. Like, most of the stuff I'm doing is really, really powerful, but a lot of it is extremely frame tight to where even the tiniest mistake or just being like a, a frame or two slow is enough for it to just completely fall on its face and fail. And then he has a... It's like that regardless of how they DI, and their DI radically changes your combo routes, too. So, because of this, I feel like the amount of time you can spend just practicing Falcon's Punish game and just developing an absurd variety of situations that you're just ready for will eventually pay off in dividends. I'm trying to do something. There we go, I got what I was looking for. But yeah, you can use no impact landings for uh, doing a bunch of stuff like that as well. People are passionate, Fantastic Mario. Also, we're in an era of online play. And I feel like online competition just, for the most part, brings out the worst in everyone. So glad I don't compete online. I don't know if you paid any attention to what stuff I've been doing recently, but... I've been an absolute lab monster the last few months. Um, not recently, Dakota, and the reason for that is... 
I don't consider online play to be indicative of what actual top level in person play looks like at all. Because online in this game is a vastly different world than playing it offline. And since Falcon got tremendously buffed since after uh, quarantine started, I haven't had a chance to use his buffs in person yet. So while I'm confident that he's a lot better, and all the other top Falcons are too, I haven't actually gotten to test by actually going to tournaments and seeing how different things go, you know? Although I'm planning on bringing back first attempts when uh, I have Parsec, but that's way different. I love that that's a combo so much. That's so sick. It's not uncommon for me to like 15 to death my subscribers right now. Just need to slowly but surely get it earlier and earlier. You main Falcon but still sort of suck with them? Okay, so in your own words, you're probably like a lowish level player. So, with that in mind, you probably want to focus on learning a lot of your combos, especially. And make sure you have, and by combos, I mean like your bread and butters. Things like, are you able to down throw into Nair people consistently at lower percents? Or are you able to do Nair 1 into Knee reliably at kill percents? And regarding how you play neutral, I'd actually focus mostly on just trying to figure out matchups above more traditional neutral means. So, Falcon's a character that's pretty lacking in set play. He's not someone like, say, Rosalina, who has like a lot of default game plans that are inherently strong regardless of what you're up against. Stuff that you can force your opponent to respect and kind of change their game plan to move around yours, you know? Check out that beauty. Cool. So yeah, that's the thing we can do if we just redraw air dodges there. Or if we think they're gonna do something else, we can just up smash. Alright, I'm gonna take a short bathroom break, guys, and I'll be back in just a few minutes to continue on, okay?